Sickle cell is a disease that affects hundreds of thousands of African Americans across the world, and the month of September serves as a time for learning and awareness for everyone across our globe. Our reporter, Adriana Alexander, spoke to a few sickle cell survivors who look forward to this month every year. She joins me now for this report. Hey, Adriana. Hey, how are you doing now? They call themselves the sickle cell warriors, and for them, September is a month where they shed light on the disease they fight every day and learn just how far there is to go to find the cure. September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, a time to raise awareness and learn more about this genetic condition. I was diagnosed at birth. I, I had my first crisis actually at my uh, nine month old appointment checkup. Sickle cell is mostly seen in African Americans with over 3 million black people in the U.S. born with the disease. Sickle cell is a disease that affects the body's red blood cells. While sickled red blood cells travel through small blood vessels, they get stuck and clog the blood flow. As a result, people with sickle cell deal with severe pain on a daily basis. Paul Gakpo has lived with sickle cell nearly all his life and even lost his twin brother to the disease. He encourages those who live with the disease to understand their bodies as much as possible. Know when to push back against the doctors when you feel like they're not telling you something that seems uh, correct. Um, you're just going to have to be your, your number one advocate and, le and learn about this disease because there's not much research out there so far. There's not much, you know, good data that we can rely on, but find yourself a community um, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Tierra Bird is grateful this month raises awareness about the disease and hopes more people who also have the disease are celebrated nationwide. Any opportunity that I have to kind of educate the public on what I live with on a daily basis, what one out of 100 African Americans live with on a daily basis, um, just taking the opportunity to let them know like, hey, we're here, hear our voice, um, allocate funds towards our research, just like, you know, any other illness. Um, so it really, it really just means a lot to me. To further treatment for sickle cell warriors, Congress proposed the Sickle Cell Care Expansion Act in June to improve the quality of life for people suffering from the sickle cell disease. The hope is to increase the number of qualified physicians who specialize in the sickle cell disease. Chris. All right, Adrienne Alexander, good report. Thank you for that.